Is it too much to say Tiffany Haddish is the future of comedy? The stand-up comic turned movie star had a breakout year in 2017, and now her freewheeling acceptance speech at an awards dinner last night once again has people buzzing about Tiffany Haddish. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Ava Gordy. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more stories. So who's Tiffany Haddish and why should you be paying attention to her? Tiffany has been performing stand-up for over a decade in Los Angeles and has appeared on shows like BET's Real Husbands of Hollywood and The Carmichael Show on NBC. But it was her supporting role in the raunchy comedy Girls Trip starring Regina Hall and Queen Latifah that really put her on the map. The movie was a hit with critics and audiences, scoring 90% on Rotten Tomatoes, and pretty much everyone agreed that Tiffany Haddish was the best part of the movie. Since then, every public appearance has earned her even more fans. The story she told on Jimmy Kimmel where she took Will and Jada Pinkett Smith to a swamp went viral because it was hilarious. <laughs> Jada, what do you think a Groupon is? She said, I thought it meant you had a boat that you could take a group of people on. <laughs> And last November, she hosted SNL, becoming the first black woman to ever do so. What? That show's been on for like 10,000 years. How is this the first time that's happening? But yet again, Tiffany made the most of that opportunity, and her monologue was the best part of the show. It's a tiff tip. Listen, fellas. <laughs> Listen, OK? If you got your thing thing out, and she got all her clothes on, you're wrong. You're in the wrong. And on Wednesday night, Tiffany was honored at the New York Film Critics Circle with a Best Supporting Actress Award for her role in Girls Trip. And once again, Tiffany stole the show. I'm gonna look at the award, make sure they spell my name. Right. I'm gonna go on a red track, they spell my name wrong. It's right. Not only was her speech nearly 20 minutes long, but it was also referenced by many other winners that night. Leslie Manville read a note from Best Screenplay winner Paul Thomas Anderson saying he wanted to work with Tiffany and asked if she would call him. Later, special honoree Molly Haskell praised Girls Trip for being raunchier than any Rat Pack adventure you could imagine. And then Best Actor winner Timothy Chalamet made flirtatious overtures toward Tiffany. So everyone seems to be falling in love with Tiffany Haddish, but her rise to fame was pretty unconventional. She talked about her background a little bit in her speech last night. There's so many people like me that you guys have no clue about, but they're coming because I keep the f***ing door open. Tiffany actually had a pretty dark childhood. When she was three, her dad left her family. And when she was nine years old, her stepfather tampered with the brakes on her mom's car. He was attempting to kill Tiffany's mom, Tiffany, and her four half-siblings. It was a stroke of luck that Tiffany and her half-siblings were not in the car at the time. But the tampering of brakes caused a crash that gave her mom brain damage and schizophrenia. And at only nine years old, Tiffany became the primary caregiver for her family. At 12, she and her siblings entered the foster care program and were there for three years. Before they were finally put under the care of their grandmother. Tiffany has been honest about her background, but doesn't let it define her. She's learned to just say, f*** it, I'm going for it. And that's pretty f***ing rad. I don't read reviews. I don't. Like, the most review you'll see me read is something that uh, either my publicist sends me and says, read this, and I'm like, you read it, because I'll... If it hurt my feelings, I'm gonna cuss that ass out in my soul. <laughs> Tiffany Haddish just has a natural comedic talent, and people are really starting to recognize that. She's not afraid to be herself, and that's a big reason why people find her so likable. She thanked many people in her speech, including Girls Trip director Malcolm Lee, who gave her a lot of room to improvise. And most of the best parts of the movie were actually Tiffany improvising. Throughout her rise to success, Tiffany has expressed gratitude to all those who have helped her, and she's not afraid to share what she's learned along the way. Yeah, I think this whole business is about how you feel, and, and what feeling you put out to the world and how you make other people feel. And so when you feel good about what you're doing, I think, in my mind, it makes other people feel good. So what do you guys think? Will 2018 be an even bigger year for Tiffany Haddish? Let us know in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe for more What's Trending.